beauty of adventure is oftentimes we are left with little more than memories. The goal is to leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but photos. These stills seem to capture the truth behind the experience. And as we reminisce over the journeys we've had, they drag us back to that time. After a month in the Alps, it's time for one last adventure. We've set our eyes on the steepest area of the park, hoping it'll hold potential for ice climbing and free riding. Accompanying us on this trip are our friends, Brady and Michael. But first, we need to get them equipped. The plan is to leave our vans at Guthaga, tour upstream to Illawong Lodge, cross the snowy river, and begin climbing. Keeping our eyes out for a protected place to set base camp for the next few days. There were girls I've fallen for. So we've just finished building a snow cave um, and Brady's going to sleep in it tonight because he forgot his tent. Damn it. <laughs> he didn't forget his tent, did he? That's the story. That's, That's the story. story. That's the story. <laughs> so yeah, Brady's going to try and uh, sleep in it tonight, which is going to be interesting. Right. Well, he is going to. It's very warm in here. I know, yeah, very I'm fogging cool. up. <laughs> you excited to sleep in here, dude? Better than a tent. No, it's really it's nice, nice and quiet, quiet in here, yeah. yeah. That's the craziest mm. thing. What a view! It's pretty cool in here. So good. Nice job, that's good. Commando crawl! Wow, yeah, this is spacious. Man. Here in the snow cave, just going over the plan. The plan for today is the weather is not white playing ball as we wanted it to. Um, forecast was slightly wrong. We're saying kind of scattered clouds, but it's a complete white out out there. And we've probably got 15 to 20 knots plus snow showers. So we're just gonna take it really, really easy and probably descend down to Blue Lake. And then hopefully as we get lower, we kind of come out of the cloud cover and get a bit more uh, viz. But yeah, we're gonna go and do some ice climbing down lower and maybe do a couple runs, which would be cool. Oh. I'll see y'all later. We definitely need to dig this hole out. 
I guess it's just me and you in here now. Now that those because <laughs> After a day of swinging tools, we hauled it back to camp, sneaking in a run in the fading light. So we've just woken up, as you can see the sun hasn't quite risen yet. Uh, we're going to head to the top of Twynham and then check out the western faces, hopefully drop in and then yeah, come back to camp and see where the day goes from there. So we just got to the top of Mount Twynham just as sun was coming up. Uh, we got a pretty spectacular view. We got Mount Cozzy, we got what Watson's Crags out there, and we've got Mount Tate to our north. Um, we're gonna go down this spur now and try and get a better vantage at Watson's Crags. It's kind of the steeper portion of the Alps, and then um, yeah, we'll make our way back to camp. <laughs> After taking in this vista and sampling the region, it was time to say goodbye to this incredible wilderness and begin the long haul back to our vans. I know the years will pick away at the memories of this adventure, but I hope these images will continue to drag me back. Drag me back to the relationships, the experiences, the sunrises and sunsets, the early starts and late nights, 
The high points, the breakdowns, the laughs and the exposure. The lines of swell, the incredible routes and the untamed mountains. Thank you.